welcome back to another new world video or not quite actually a lord of the rings online video but not the original lord of the rings online which came out in 2007 uh something a little bit different which has just been announced from amazon games so obviously on this channel we covered uh new world and that's all we've ever covered it's the only game i play right now and uh it's the only mmo i play anyway uh, all we covered on this channel and will be for the foreseeable future because no doubt this game is not going to be out anytime soon but if we head over to twitter uh, amazon games have just tweeted this out uh, we're excited to announce a collaboration with embracer group who i've never heard of before so we'll have to do some research into them and middle earth enterprise for our upco upcoming <laughs> mmorpg so they have stated this okay there's no mobile game this is no mobile you know you see all these rpg mobile games coming out right now it's not one of those which which is got they have literally said mmorpg which is nice uh, based on the iconic lord of the rings property so this is also interesting because something to do with the you know the actual amazon uh video if you want to call it that um their showing of the rings of power was a little bit sketchy some issues here and there and i think i think a lot of those issues where they didn't have the full rights to everything to do with like the silmarillion before the lord of the rings and that's why maybe the story was a little bit sketchy possibly so coming over to amazon games though they say the iconic lord of the rings property so they do, do they have full access to everything this we're gonna have to find out over the coming months and probably years because we all know mmos take a very long time as you can see there's quite a bit of hype popping up in here as well as like various different people all liking it and retweeting it and stuff like that just like me so i'm a huge lord of the rings fan and uh a couple of years ago they said they were going to bring out um like a pre lord of the rings so again similar to like the silmarillion maybe something in the first or second age and this was also supposed to be linked with amazon and then it basically just never happened apparently there's some kind of like deals so i'll be honest i don't even really know the full story but what i heard is the original version of this sort of pre lord of the rings mo that was supposed to come out uh, there was like some licensing issues with Tencent. I'm not too sure why they had anything to do with it. And then it was Amazon. The, were they just a publisher? Not too sure, but a bit of a crazy one. But here, here we have anyway. This is like a brand new announcement, uh, May the 15th. So if we delve into it just like a little bit, it's not a huge announcement. So we'll just quickly read through it, make sure we got all the information. Amazon Games and Embracer Group, uh, through its wholly owned subsidiary, Middle Earth Enterprises, part of the operative group free mode. Oh, this is jargon. Uh, today announced they... They have reached an agreement for Amazon Games to develop. Now, this is big, I think, to develop, not to publish, like they've done with games like Lost Ark, for example, uh, and publish a... Well, it says unpublish, but they definitely list develop anyway, you know. Uh, a new massively multiplayer MMO. This is huge. I cannot wait for this G game based on the Lord of the Rings. Now, the reason why I think this could be big, the previous MMO I was just talking about, which, again, never came out. I don't even think it ever really got developed. That was stated to be, I think, something to do with the second age, which technically isn't the Lord of the Rings Online. The uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Sorry for saying online. The Lord of the Rings. Okay, so the Lord of the Rings is the three books, right? That part of the story, you know what I mean? So post-Hobbit. Now, anything before that, so anything in like the second age and first age, technically isn't Lord of the Rings, but it's in the same universe, you know what I mean? But they've stated the Lord of the Rings. So is this going to be something that's going to directly just overtake the... The existing game lord of the rings online completely different publishers completely different game came out in 2007 um i loved it back in the day when i was like 14 15 when that game came out so yeah th this this is making it look like it's going to come out you know in the time zone of the lord of the rings so the books and the films that you probably uh you know really sort of like used to uh, the upcoming game will be an open world mmo this is huge um, adventure in a persistent world set in middle earth featuring the beloved stories of the hobbit and the lord of the rings here we go this is exactly what we were just saying yeah uh, the game is in early stages of production so they've already started it that's nice with the uh, amazon games orange county makers of the popular open world mmo game new world oh, okay so a lot of people <laughs> i'll be honest guys right just get into this stage here um a lot of people are gonna be looking at this and going new world devs really now I'll, I'll be honest okay so i, I kind of sit in in between here so i'm not like a shill for the game or anything like that however i do really enjoy playing new world streaming on my twitch channel youtube videos obviously i do enjoy it i see it for all its flaws but then i also really enjoy everything else to do with mmo um the mmo sorry new world compared to say like some other mmos i can't get into right now so a lot of people are going to be seeing that and thinking oh boy what's going on here however maybe maybe it's not a bad thing maybe they you know they make a slightly bigger team and they bring in other people maybe they've learned from a lot of those maybe early publishing mistakes and when i say publishing i mean like at what time they release the game which we all know if it had come out maybe 12 months after 
Uh, maybe maybe nine to twelve months after it'd be a much much bigger game i think now population wise so uh jumping back in here so yeah so they're leading development amazon games will publish the game globally for pc and consoles this is pretty big it just increases the player base hugely by having this on consoles additional details including launch timing will be shared at a later date the fact that they've started production though i, I like the sound of that but we all know mmos take years uh here's a direct quote from them so we're committed to bringing players high quality games whether for original IPs or long beloved ones like the Lord of the Rings. Uh, bringing players a fresh take on the Lord of the Rings has uh, long been an aspiration for our team, and we're honored and grateful that Middle Earth Enterprises is entrusting us with this iconic world. Entrusting us, bro, you, you probably paid for it, okay? That's, 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 that's one thing here. Um, and then basically the rest of it, you know, it's, it's all here. So the world uh, of Middle Earth continues to prove endlessly fertile ground for creators, the Amazon Games... Um, has a passion for building immersive compelling worlds and publishing games for global audience that's what the obviously that's what the ceo said and uh we have the clear ambition to create the highest quality entertainment products for this ip so this is basically like spiel that like ceos say and staff and stuff like that say and um, but the sheer fact that they're bringing out this game it has me so excited so like when it comes to my nerd you know parts of me uh yeah sure i like mmos and stuff like that but for me Lord of the Rings is it, you know what I mean? That's like my nerd universe. Everyone has their own, whether it be Star Wars or anime or whatever, right? This is my nerd thing. So the sheer fact that this game is coming out, I am so, so excited. Again, do we know any kind of like release dates or anything like that? Absolutely not. Do we know how far into development it is? Absolutely not. We all know game. You look at Ashes of Creation, again, a completely different size of project and stuff like that and, and size of development team for when that first started. But look at that game. That game is years away from coming out still. Uh, there's another link over here though as well as you can see uh, it is literally it's, it's the full studio by the looks of it that currently does new world you can see this guy's been playing new world here in the background and they're coming in with this project so basically all we know so far is pretty much what i've read out to you you know what i mean there's not a lot of information we know it's mmorpg which is good we open world all that kind of thing so it's no mobile game none of this trash that you keep seeing on, on like facebook adverts and stuff like that that comes up on your feed you know it, this this could be really really good um I, I i'm so excited for this you know what i mean now it but it does look like it's directly linked to the new world team so for me i think this could be a good thing a lot of people who have not even touched new world for a very long time are probably going to say that this is a really bad thing they're going to think oh bro new world devs are terrible they're bad look how bad the game was blah 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 i don't know man like they've made a lot of really good improvements to new world in the past sort of uh year to 18 months Again, unless you actually come back into New World and actually play it and play it for like, I don't know, play for play for longer than two hours, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and give it a real good go, then you'll, you won't see this. Um, down here, though, they are saying, but don't expect New World 2.0, which is um, quite interesting. Um, all I wanted to do is bring out a quick video just, just to basically announce that like, you know, that this has been, or should I say that this has been announced and no, nothing crazy, nothing too in-depth because there's not a lot here. I'm scrolling down and there's there's not a lot of information here from these posts exactly there's no timestamps. there's no dates there's no release there's no you know this will be happening to new world or won't be happening to new world in terms of the dev teams and anything changing we know amazon are almost always hiring new 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 staff and new devs and stuff like that however they did actually get rid of or release a few if you like um a couple of months ago so it'll be really interesting to see how this affects new world is this going to slow down new world's development or is it going to be like all or nothing on the big expansion which is coming to new world in in about three three and a half months i think from now or i don't know it, it, it's so hard to tell until we actually see something happening until we either see a drop in development in new world or we don't or we see you know everything just going towards this new lord of the rings mmo it's one of those and then also what does this mean for the original lord of the rings online which came out in 2007 is that is that is everyone just gonna leave that game to go and play this i'm gonna guess they probably will the chances are if you still play lord of the rings online now you're either just a diehard lord of the rings fan which is what makes me go back to the game like once every year or two I, I log back in and i you know grind up a new character and then sort of leave again um are all those lord of the rings fans just gonna leave that game probably a couple of mmo fans in there but it's such an old game it, i feel i feel quite bad for that studio that that i think it's stand and stones that have that game at the moment i feel a little bit sorry for them because i presume all their player base is more than likely just going to get up and leave the second that this releases so that's something to think about as well but um yeah the last thing i was going to say here is uh if you you know you want to keep up to date we'll have more information hopefully once it's all released this is just like a bang it's coming out i want you guys to know
but yeah once more information is released we'll we'll keep all the updates on this channel along with all my normal new world videos we have more guide videos and all that kind of stuff scheduled so if you want to drop a sub on the channel feel free and obviously if you want to come and discuss this in my twitch channel uh, whilst i'm live and we can talk about the game probably over the next three four five years who knows hopefully it comes out before like ashes of creation which that game looks like it's taken a very long time but uh, yeah guys drop a sub on the video like and, and and drop me down some comments down below what do you guys think is this going to be a good game is it going to be new world 2.0 is in that's like a bad thing that people are trying to say uh yeah what do you guys think and are you excited for the game and until we get some more information i'll see you in the next one